WikiLeaks has certainly made some military powers angry, and from the looks of this place, you'd think the website's bracing for a full-scale attack, and not the internet kind. Welcome to White Mountain, a fortified data center in a Cold War-era bunker near Stockholm, Sweden. This is the place which at one time hosted at least some of WikiLeaks' computer servers. And now that Amazon has dumped WikiLeaks from its servers, WikiLeaks has reportedly moved some of its files back here. James Bond, watch out. That's Dean Nelson, chairman and co-founder of a group called Data Center Pulse, an association of data center owners and operators. Dean Nelson was granted access to White Mountain last year and took a video tour. I've got him on Skype right now. Dean, what do you think the benefit was for WikiLeaks to move its operations, its servers, back into that bunker, if in fact it has done that? It's actually 30 meters under solid bedrock, and it's got a one-foot thick solid bomb door. So it's a pretty secure facility. That's probably one of the primary reasons. The host for WikiLeaks servers in this place is a company called Bonhof. It opened White Mountain as a data center in 2008, and it hosts servers for other websites as well. As he showed Nelson around, John Carlung, CEO of Bonhof, made no secret of his inspiration for this layout. Okay, but these are uh, uh, science fiction James Bond movies, and the greenhouse from science fiction films. Move over, Dr. No. This place boasts a futuristic room for its servers with dozens of electronic cabinets, a floating glass conference room above it. For backup power, two diesel engines from German submarines. Experts say this kind of security doesn't prevent hackers from stealing data or protect websites from the kinds of denial-of-service attacks that have plagued WikiLeaks. But Nelson says more and more websites are relying on places like bunkers, even container ships, to store their servers. It's an innovative way to uh, solve a data center problem because as you get more computers and more data on the Internet, um, the density or basically the heat that's generated from those computers you can use things like underground cooling uh, to get rid of that heat. Why would Bonhoeff take WikiLeaks back? In interviews, John Carlung said he's a strong supporter of free speech. But a spokeswoman for the Senate Homeland Security Committee told us it's not out of the question that that committee will bring some pressure on Bonhoeff to kick WikiLeaks out. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington.